Hey guys, it's Lem. Uh, just thought I'd make a walk around because I keep getting people asking me to do it even though I've already made two walk arounds. But I haven't made a walk around since the new shit has been done. So I guess I'll do a third walk around of everything on the car. First off, dual projector halos. And then um, I actually taped all this off, sprayed the grill black, left the uh, chrome around the Chevy logo, because I like that. Um, in there we got a 320 amp Ohio generator. Alternator with four runs, all fused. Four runs of positive, four runs of negative, as you see. It's all one at OFC Audio Technics. Every connection is soldered. So that's under the hood. And in here, please tell me this door's unlocked. All right, good. All right. So for the mid, mid range, and the highs. We got fiberglass door panels with eight Pile Pro PMW 8A, eight inch mid base drivers, eight Pile Pro PH25 horn super tweeters, each door. This window knocked out of the track, so I can't use that anymore. For the uh, sub stage, we got two 18 inch FI SP4 they're not fully loaded they have the extra cooling in the coil but they do not have the spaced spiders the wall is completely it's three layers thick um, all fiberglass resin um, and covered in bed liner it, um, it's 17.6 cubic feet before displacements after displacements, each sub is seeing about, I want to say, close to seven cubic feet. In the dash, we have the Pioneer AVH P330BT with the red Stinger bolt meter. In the trunk, we got two digital designs, M3B with uh, dual inputs made by Toolmaker Metalworks. Uh, each, each DD amp is at 0.66 ohms. They're split over here, so <clears throat> each amp, there's one amp per sub. When I wanna burp, I take this out, strap them, and then readjust the uh, speaker wires for the strapped configuration. And when they're strapped, they're at 0.66 nominal, so that would be 0.33 ohms each amp. Um, we got four excess power D7500s. They're 140 amp hours. They're excess power's newest battery. We got Project DB bus bars. Going across them. And then under there, we got another battery down there. And then right there, that gold thing, that's the door power. Uh, that's the amp for the doors. It's a Crescendo Audio 1000 C4. It's running at um, 1.7 ohms and it does 250 watts RMS by four channels at two ohms. Um, for the suspension, the um, before anybody starts hating on me about this suspension, um, I did not really build the suspension to drop the car low. It is on air ride but I mainly built it so I could align the car. As you see, I have 18 inch rims on here. The Chevy Cobalt, how nice of GM, has a straight rear axle, so there's no alignment adjustment for the rear of the car. And I burnt through a set of tires in a year, less than a year, to the uh, steel, steel uh, braids showing. 
So what I did is I put it on air ride. We got the valves and the compressor and then the tank is back there. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I got uh, uh, crossovers back there, custom built. Probably you couldn't see that, but um, yeah. So when I built it, I mainly built it to raise the car up for to, on driving height so I could align it not have to worry about burning through tires because these tires are expensive so as you see right now this is driving height it kind of looks kind of looks high but the alignment is 100% in spec so I'm not complaining about that rides great I just have to take these off because on turns the wheels actually scrape it we uh it's a bag on strut up front. As you see, it's fully inflated. Driving height is around 60 PSI. That's what the company told me to go with. I feel like the most comfortable ride in the car is around 45 PSI. But with all the weight, uh, I'm gonna keep it at 60 in the back. I did not buy a bolt-on kit. I bought it because of all the weight. I made them give me these plates so that I could weld them on. But there's bags in the rear and coil on struts in the front. Oh, uh, the car drives great. It's on a charger every single night. I will be at the Sudden Impact Custom Show in Alsip, Illinois on Sunday. April 7th so if you guys want a demo I will be there this wall right now peaks over 50 Hertz which is not what I wanted so in a couple weeks I'm actually gonna go back to Jeremy and we're gonna build a plug for hope I'm gonna I'm thinking I want to take up this whole entire top part and leave that bottom part and then tune it stupid stupid low but we got time for that so if uh, I cut your demo short, you'll know why, because you'll smell the uh, FI air freshener, meaning the voice coils, because the FS on this sub is stupid low, it's like 23 or 24 hertz, and to be playing music in pretty much what is an SPL wall does not really uh, do too well on music. I can't really play too much below. 38 Hertz which I really don't like because I wanted to play 20 Hertz daily We got audio techniques on the roof It's a whole pack as you see over here. Here's not deadened And then here's the roof It's fucking rock solid. It's all foamed up there and it is it's all deadened That's a that's a whole pack. So that's 20 sheets right there five layers thick and man that shit made a difference all the deadener in this vehicle and all the wire in this vehicle is all audio techniques as you see it's all audio techniques OFC so it's all oxygen free copper in this car as you see threaded rods to stack the amps room there room under it just so they could breathe this deadener right here this silver is actually audio techniques too this deadener is actually from when Coleman first introduced his company I was one of the first people to order a 60 millimeter roll of audio techniques as you see I got expanding foam all in there I used to have a DC level 5 12 inch sub in the trunk as you see my spoiler broke off and you can see the whole deck or the whole trunk is all fucking scratched up from the it actually completely ripped off over here and was dangling and then it was still hung on over here so what I did is I epoxied it back on and it just it just broke again so I just ripped it off of that side and uh, put some uh, silicone over the holes foamed in them and then put silicone over them trunk uh, it's fine uh, as you see, I took my antenna out and just put silicone in there because I can't even tell you the last time that I listened to the radio. But 
that's pretty much the walk around of the vehicle. Just got one more thing to show you. There's the switches.